Hi there, what's up buddies, welcome back to the channel and the second episode of creating a grey sword and blender. In the first episode we've created this decent grey sword and blender and in this episode we're gonna give it a texture. If you haven't seen the first episode yet, make sure just watch it first and then come back to this video. It's somewhere on the right top corner of the video here, you can find the link and first of all watch it and then come back to this video. So let's get it started. Okay, we're in Blender now, we've created this model in the first episode and in this video we're gonna give it a texture. Come to the shading tab here and let's start with the blade part. Click on that blade and click on new here. Then uh, from, this, from this part, let's change the base color to something like this, a grayish color. And it, it should be metal and because of that it should be metallic, it should have a metallic texture. For that case, I'm gonna increase the metallic amount all the way to 1, like this. And you see it's going to look like to a metal, but it's not enough for us and because of that, it hasn't the uh, correct roughness on it. Because it's metal, it should have so low of roughness. And you see that when we decrease the roughness, it's going to look like more metallic than before. And in the real world, none of the metals are mm, unique like this it has some scratches on it and i'm gonna add that scratches on our metal on our blade as well for doing that we, there are lots of mm, ways for for that but i'm gonna add a ima image texture of the scratches texture on it and apply it on that metal for that reason i'm gonna bring a image texture and you can Press Shift A and on the search button. On the search tab, you can search for image texture and bring this node here. And then by uh, this node selected, you can hold Control T for bringing these two vector map and node and texture coordinate nodes here. If you don't have your node Wrangler add-on on, it won't work you. For turning it on, you can just come to Edit and Preferences and Add-ons. You can search for Node Wrangler and you can enable it from here and then it will work for you as well. Then I'm going to plug the color, not to the color part, I'm going to plug it to the roughness part here. Then let's open our image. This is our image texture for that one. And you see that we have some scratches on that, but it's not correctly fitted to our model because the UVs aren't set correctly. For fixing it, I'm just gonna press tab to go to edit mode and press A to select everything and then let's unwrap it again. Press U and smart UV unwrap and then hit on OK. And then press tab again and it will fix this that issue really fast for us. It's not a perfect unwrapping, it's just for adding these scratches on it because I didn't mm, spend lots of time for unwrapping it correctly. Then you can work on the amounts by adding a, let's make them here, by adding a color ramp node here. And we can, we can control it more with the color ramp to make it perfect even more. Something like this would be great. Yeah, it's great. Now it's our blade and the texture is really fitted for our blade part then let's go to this mm, another metal parts so we have all of these are metals but I'm gonna call this material metal or we can call it light metal light metal and for the other ones I'm gonna uh, call them black metal and make them a little bit darker than this one then click on this one and from here you can select this light metal part and click on this to here to copy and create another material of that and then I'm going to call it dark metal dark metal and uh, with all this stuff here we, I don't I'm not going to change them anymore and I can just I can turn it a little bit darker make it a little bit darker and also I will need to unwrap these ones as well press you and this uh, this has a mirror modifier on it for fixing it. I can come here and 
apply the mirror modifier by hovering your mouse over it and press Ctrl A or you can just come here and apply you see the hotkey is here or Ctrl A I'm gonna press Ctrl A and if you press tab you see that we have all the faces here press A to select everything again you and smart UV unwrap then hit OK and it will fix the issue for us maybe it isn't rough enough let's change it a little bit from here you can change this amount to somewhere like this make it a little bit less rough yeah i like it now and maybe we can do it this for this one as well oh this one should have a little bit more of that something like this is good and about this one and also this one we're gonna add this texture here select this one and this piece here this rings and then at the end select this one and press uh, hold control l and then cut um, link the materials and then they link they copy the same materials as these ones have and these ones also don't have the correct uvs we can press on tab to go to edit mode and press a then uh, repeat the same process for the as we did for previous ones we can unwrap them to fix this issue here and that's good now and for this piece here i'm going to copy this um, material again select this one and then select this one with shift holding shift and select this one and then Control l then link materials and it will copy the matter materials that it has then press uh, tab and a again to unwrap it smart to unwrap then that's it and for this part i'm gonna add i'm gonna create a somehow leather material for this one select it click on new and let's call it leather and let's change the color to something bluish something like this and I'm gonna change it later and for the roughness part we can make it a little bit less rough and let's add a noise texture for that one and also a color ramp and let's plug the color to the roughness and from here color to factor and again click on this one this noise texture and press ctrl t for bringing these nodes here and from here the the texture coordinate i'm gonna change the generated to object we're gonna um, plug an object to vector not generated and here we're gonna add some great roughness and details for that piece here you should find the correct amount for that one i think it's good and maybe we can need it to make it a little bit more darker and also bluish to something like this or maybe we can even make it darker and i think that's good and it's it's still good but i can change it a little bit as well work with the roughness of the noise texture and play with the color ramp changing the colors changing the black or white maybe that is good now yeah it's good now and i'm satisfied with that one and just one part is left i'm gonna add some emission texture for these parts of the sword and also the this part the last part of this one to make it a little bit shinier then select this one and press tab to go to edit mode and i'm gonna select these inside faces you can uh, hold alt and click on here to select all the look out here let's make sure that we have selected all of it it isn't selected i'm gonna select this holding alt and shift not that one it's selecting the wrong loop cut here 
I'm going to select from here. Then let's press tab and press slash to isolate this model here for seeing it quickly and press tab again that for making sure that we've selected the correct things here and you see that we i don't want to select these ones let's unselect these ones and this one and also these ones here i don't want to select these vertices let's deselect them and maybe but in that case we can't have the selection okay it's good now for it's good for now then with these faces selected let's come come back here the material properties and click on the plus button to add another material and then click on new and also click on assign to assign this material to the selected parts and then click on uh, and then press tab to go to edit mode and you see that these parts that we selected have another material. Then select slash again to bring another object to our scene. And then you see that we have another object. So click this material and, and, I'm, call, and I'm gonna call it light. Then it has a principal PSDF. I'm, I don't need it. I can just select it, select it and press X to delete it. And by pressing shift A, you can search for emission and bring it here and plug the emission to the surface like this and it has the emission material on it and we can change the color to something bluish maybe it could be great for us for now but i can change it later and change its strength to something like five maybe and you see it doesn't have any glows it's because of it's because of these parts that we didn't enable this bloom or ambient occlusion and screen space reflections we're gonna check all of them for having a great result and having some glow on the light parts here we can increase it a little bit to something like 10 maybe and we can make the color more saturated like this that's good and for that part for the last part again i'm gonna click i'm gonna press tab to go to edit mode and select this face press 3 to go to face select mode and select this face and come to this part the material properties and again click on plus and from here because we created the light material in advance click on this one and then assign to bring it a great light here and then if you go to the layout tab and change it to the material view you can see that we've created a beautiful textures and beautiful lighting coming up from here and you can change the, change the color type and the colors of this emission part anytime you want for example i'm going to change it to something like this or you can just animate it by pressing here by clicking here and create a keyframe for it but i'm not gonna cover it in this tutorial you can do it anything you like so that's done for this tutorial i hope you learned something and it was helpful for you and if you're not subscribed yet in the channel just make sure to subscribe in the channel and support the videos by your likes by your comments and wait for another great tutorials and courses that will come later then see you in the next video